how in asp.net core and rglc reports you and also using database i have made a simple form where we can filter by customer id to generate the report or leave it null this is i also i always like to begin by the end to see if that suits your requirement to proceed or not uh, when i filter i will get report customer details by filter arrow if i filtered by it or generate if null generate the whole report using rdlc why rdlc it first comes with entity framework from previous versions i don't have to install server it's made by uh, microsoft so this is a workaround to use it in the core uh, there is a blog talking about this subject would like to point first to it because they are talking about the references which we should add to our project here it is so if we scan that code and go to the site to see the references we should add Here is the references. We first install sp.net core report reporting.library, then system.drawing.common. Then the references they say. Then uh, uh, system.text encoding dot code pages also we should install from manage extensions search about rdlc to download it uh, then they say you should have RDLC reported before from uh, previous versions of entity framework or from the download link I attached with the video in the description on Google Drive you can download it and then set uh, RDLC from properties to copy always as seen in this screen we should write rdlc and filter or retrieve the reference from uh, extension from here then download as we see microsoft rdlc report designer the right marked we can download it a quick look about the project there is one already made by the blogger but the one i made is with database uh, the that of a blogger is data set uh, fixed data set the project consists consists here of report data as we see there is a class containing user dto and customer dto user dto is a data set made by him and class one uh, customer dto is a is that made by me from the database
I use. That is the difference. Here, uh, customer DTO, some fields from customer table. A quick look also, report API here consists of contracts where we have a service, interface, and under contracts and service under report services under services. There are two controllers, report and values. Values that concerned about the form, report about the report. Then report files. There are two files, user details concerning fixed data set of a blogger and customer details concerning mine. The project starts from where? From val values controller. I have made a debug on it, which it works. It starts by uh, get from launch settings. I start by value controller. Uh, here it returns a view of index. If we open view index, contains the field uh, where we search by and the what the the post of the button to post to the to this page Here is the index page where it has input type of type text named ID and button submit to submit SP page handler edit as I'm losing pages, rather pages. We'll go to the value controllers and return view of the index at the beginning. Let us see. Here is a local form. We can enter, for example, uh, Anton and then press calculate. We'll go to the post. Where it will take the ID value from the screen and then it will direct to API report customer details with ID of the value I have chosen. It will go to a controller of report controller Here it is. To run the report service and then generate report async the get method with report name, customer details, and ID of the value I have chosen. So we press five, five again. Generate report async with two parameters. We'll go to report service where it has this method.
with two parameters report name and the id With report name and ID, the first five lines is standard for generating RDLC report where we take the report path in RDLC file path and uh, set the DLL execute assembly for the report. Here I disabled the fixed data set by the blogger and made mine of customer list I have made a customer list and the customer DTO if we stand on the list it gives customer list here customer list and customer list one is that of customer DTO which is the data set where I choose some fields for the customer data set so I have two lists here and the report are initiated by local report of RDLC file path debugger doesn't move here uh, where, uh, after I initialize the report I put the ID which is Anton in a string and ask if it is null or not if null it will get the whole list if not it will filter by the value I entered as for cast list one, it comes from cast list in a link expression from e in cast list. Because there are two instances here sometimes it comes uh, to load again yeah. so till we come from customer uh, list of data set and then generate uh, fill the data set with customer list of a data set and execute get render type which is a function to execute to return whether PDF, Word, or Excel. To have a look about the data set and the report, here is the customer details. As here it went to the to function to get the file type then to generate the report.
as for the report design, here it is, customer details. It has a data source and data set one, as we saw before, we filled it with customer data set, data set properties, name data set one, and data source coming from report data. We made new and choose object. It is explained by the blogger how to choose the data set. Here it is, choosing object and we choose the object at the beginning of, of a project which is report to data, report to data and here his data set is user DTO but ours is customer DTO which we made it from in the project with these fields. This is the generation of uh, fields from the data set where we can use them in the report. As for the design and the report, those who are familiar before with, with this uh, kind of report uh, in entity framework will have no problem. But those who are new may have some uh, problems, small problems. Here is there is report properties. If I uh, right click on the table here, report properties, we will find that which I want to highlight or point to variables. There is consume container white spaces set it to true. Uh, this will uh, make us avoid uh, the rendering blank pages by the end of a report. Set it to true and then OK. So as to avoid blank pages because this is one of the defects of RDLC. This uh, was our uh, demo about RDLC reports, where it will generate at the end filtered either by Anton or Arut or if left with null, we generate the whole report. The link is given by the description you can download the whole project um, and that of the link of a blogger also is linked as by the description thanks for your uh, for uh, sharing the knowledge and uh, for uh, your listening and wish to see you soon in best of